This one's called Radar Love, aka Cot Therapy. I was seeing this gay therapist, Craig, the asshole who didn't think my problems were related to my actual brain tumor you get to age with. That's your book? Yes, it's my book. Won't you please assist me? In Glendale, around Pacific in the freeway entrance, Josh was tired of just being cooped up in the apartment, and we were driving around having a fight, and I told him to drive up and pull over. I got out to cool down, and I started looking around, and there was a walkway over the freeway that, oh my fucking God, we climbed up to look down into the San Fernando Valley world where people were getting off work, hurrying up to stop. Oh my, oh my, did we pop. Josh was always happy to take me to therapy. I was in some ways, but because that therapist told me not to rely on my brain because he assumed I was borderline and Josh was so very stable. Fooled everybody. Nobody ever thought to tell me I was probably over medicated. I told him, except my brother, I told him I needed brain surgery and then everything changed once I could think again. Nobody ever really thought enough to care about our struggles and strife, but that was our life. I was trying to make the most out of where we'd been, where we were going, what we were showing our kid. At least give him an ideal childhood full of gaps of unconditional love that has gone now here, nowhere. This walkway served as one of the most beautiful places to display our deep affections ready to come out again and again. We get up in the halfway point. Me with my walker in tow. What a show. I grabbed the fence. My nipples were hard at the prospect of this most virulent show of PDA. He slinked down my panties and pulled up my skirt. And his drawers were dripping, sipping down so his cock could get out. I was so wet with anticipation. He bent down and slid right in. My month, my mouth slightly parted. I do my best not to scream out from passion. Slowly, ever so slowly, he starts a pumping, and my desires ebb and flow out as I bear down, and girl comes, comes brushing out. We look at each other and stop for a kiss, sharing with each other a certain blissful playness to each his own. He then looks left and I look right, making sure that we maintain in our sight our own bubble of anonymity, sensuality, expressing our sexuality. I bear down and he falls out yet again. My eyes close and open up again and I look again and there's a sea of lights straight beneath us as I'm king of the world. Some people honk. As they make eye contact with me expressing my sin. My favorite perfume. Grandiosity. I see a few smiles of the anonymous men beneath us. Wishing he were Josh. And in some dimension it truly was. I take it all in these expressions deep within myself. To let it all hang out. I'll scream and shout for you to let me in. As I look down from my last gush, I see how wet Josh's jeans are, and we both giggle as he inserts his cummy cock back into his boxer shorts with martinis. That's all you're getting right now. I'm going to read the rest to Yvonne, because you don't deserve the entire story. you got to read my book. You gotta get off your phone. You gotta use your pitter patter to make some decisions to think. Because you got to think.
That's what art is all about. That's what we gotta do. You gotta listen to these blizzy lips. Because they're moving in the right direction and forward. Because it was her forefathers that saw it. I'm going to finish my story.